Russ and I were on a multi-day trip exploring Knight County. And one of the days we headed up to the Royston District, which is an area with several turquoise mines. We visited the Royal Blue Mine, which was the largest producer. And it was originally owned by the Tiffany Company. Turquoise was first discovered in 1902. The greatest production occurred between 1910 and 1940, when it was the major producer of turquoise in the U.S. Royston is known for its beautiful colors ranging from deep green to rich light blues are set off by a heavy brown matrix. All my years on the run Chasing hell, drinking devil's blood I never caught a fire that could ever slow me down Fighting in the war Dodging lead Breaching rival doors I never took no heat That could ever strike me down Oh, when I'd come home Glory, hallelujah All my days in the woods Just a blade and a point to prove I never picked a fight That could ever put me down Oh, when i come home Glory, hallelujah I cry and sing the blues Nothing else I'd rather do Than be helpless in your arms Close by was remains of an old silver mine Glory, hallelujah Hi, my name is Larry Hanna, and I've been a commercial photography in Las Vegas for the last 40-some years, doing mostly work for the resort industry, and uh, you know, primarily for a advertising purposes. About seven or eight years ago, I got a newsletter from my high school, old high school in, uh, back in Virginia, 
and there was an article about a classmate of mine who she was stricken with progressive multiple sclerosis and she was doing a photography workbook on uh, what it was like to live with a disability like this and I was intrigued and I, I uh, reached out to her just uh, uh, interest for a book and, and to let her know that I was doing photography now too and uh, we uh, traded emails for a while and she looked at my, at my uh, website and said well you really do nice work what do you do for yourself and I go well, what do you mean for myself she said well don't you have any personal project and I go no I, I just work and I, I like what I do so I'm happy with doing that but she says you should get out and do a personal project for your own creative energy so, uh, you know, I've thought about, uh, I've always been intrigued by the vastness of Nevada and the wild open spaces and the wet and the old west thing, because I grew up back east in Virginia. So I um, thought, well, you know, that'd be an interesting thing. Maybe I should start going out and looking at some of these old ghost towns and some of the scenery and the back roads of, of Nevada. Um, my first venture out was to somewhere they had paved roads because I was driving a Prius. And so I went up to Tonopah, then over to, um, uh, Manhattan and then I took actually a dirt road over to Bel Belmont um, got home with a very dirty car which my mom my wife was thrilled with um, but I had a ball you know I had so much fun doing it. I go I gotta start doing this so, so I said I needed a Jeep and I had to go some of the places I wanted to go and so for uh, several years I was just going off by myself and fortunately I never really got in, in any uh, any trouble but uh, being uh, my age uh, I, sh I I started getting concerned with getting stuck out somewhere because a lot of these places I go to, if you got any kind of trouble, you might not see a person for a couple of weeks. So fortunately, I was uh, giving a uh, talk at a symposium, and so was this other photographer, and, and uh, we started talking, and and um, turns out he lived about a mile from me, and he uh, shared that interest for uh, the Old West and what, what was out there. And uh, so we, st we started uh, going out together and get these places, and it was, it was really it was, it was nice because we had that safety of a of another person there, and, it's, and our, our wives were thrilled that we do it because neither of them would ever go with us in the roads we go. Um, but it's been out, uh, and uh, Russ is an excellent photographer, so it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. Help this in your arms. 